Hey everyone, this is Johnny with your <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Johnny with Scott Laurie Marketing's tip of the week. This week we're going to focus on how to forward and disforward or undo your forwarding from one email to another using your Keller Williams or Google email account. Before we get started, you want to make sure you open your browser and you go and type in gmail.com. Once on the screen, we're going to log in with our email address. And you want to make sure, especially if you're using your Keller Williams email address, to use the at symbol after your email with at kw.com. In this case, I'm using my own, so disregard that ending. Once we officially log in, you'll see a screen very similar to this. Whether you're Keller Williams or not, you might see a KW logo in the top right corner, or you might see a setup just like this. So in order to get to the forwarding section, we have to go to the settings. To do that, we're going to click on these gear symbol right here in the top right corner. Click on see all settings. And that will take us to the settings area. Next, we're going to locate the forwarding section, which is one, two, three, four, five, over from the top. I'm going to click on forwarding and pop IMAP. Once we're on there, you'll see the forwarding section as the first segment. We're going to click on add a forwarding address, and then we're going to type in the full email address of where you want to forward all your email addresses from this email account. So in this case, I'm just going to type in a dummy email. So go ahead and type yours right now. Once you're done, go ahead and click on Next. You'll then get a little pop-up in the upper left-hand corner, and this is just confirming that you want to, in fact, forward your email to the email you just typed in. Make sure you double and triple check that email address. Sometimes you might put an extra character or space that might throw this off, and you definitely don't want any of your emails going to the wrong email address, especially in your real estate uh, transactions. So once we confirm, hit Proceed. Once you've done that, you'll get a confirmation. And then once you hit OK, notice that it didn't automatically forward or start the forwarding. So you want to make sure you go back to the screen, click on forward, and then you have the option to forward your email to a, to either the one you set up, or if you've set up more than one, which you definitely can, you'll see a list here. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that email address. And then we have the option to keep our email addresses as a copy in the inbox we're in right now, or we can send them send those emails that are coming into this email address as an archive or remove them completely by deleting that email, and then it sends that copy off to the destination email address, which is right here. So once you choose that option, I always go ahead and uh, be better safe than sorry and click on keep that a copy in this inbox just in case the forwarding doesn't work out or you just want another copy as a backup just in case anything were to happen. So once you choose that, you want to scroll down and click on Save Changes. Very important. That's going to update that automatically. And then starting from now on, any email that comes to this email address, whatever one you chose, will be automatically copied so it will appear here. And then it will also forward that email address, or that email rather, to the forwarding email address as well. Now, let's say you're a couple months down the road and you either want to update that forwarding, you want to change it or even delete it, you can do that, do it with the same process. So again, we're going to go into that gear symbol in the upper right corner, click on see all settings. We're then going to go to the forwarding and I or IMAP pop settings. And then we'll see that our forwarding is still going on right now. We can either disable it by clicking that, that button and then clicking Save Changes, or we can modify what we have already by, again, choosing another forwarding address. And if you don't have another option, you can always add that existing one down here, another one. And you can also update the copy of the email if you still want that in your 
your original email or if you want to mark that or archive it, which is not deleting, um, but it will take it away from showing you in the inbox, or if you just want to simply delete it. So again, my recommendation is always keeping that um, where the email is being uh, originally going towards just to make sure, again, if anything were to be missing or deleted or accidentally deleted on the other email address it's forwarding to, you always have a backup just in case. And again, any changes you make over here, you definitely want to always click Save Changes just to make sure it preserves that update. And that's it. Remember, if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We'd be happy to help you out. Thank you for viewing.